What's up guys? It's Life with Kitty and we're back with another cooking video for y'all. Look y'all. Three twists. This is my first time ever getting two strand twists since I had my locks and y'all my three year lock anniversary is coming. Dang, three years already? Three years, man. Three years. And I started like this. Mm. I'm about Oh, look at look at his locks, y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess <laughs> I get the last minute showcase. So anyway, what we cooking today, baby? Um, we seen this video where well, I saw it <laughs> on his Instagram. <laughs> Basically, it's this lady made chopped cheese croissant, y'all. If you want to make it short. I'm like, that actually sounds crazy so, and it's different, so. We finna get in the kitchen and y'all finna watch us make these croissant chopped cheese sandwiches. Let's go whip it up right now. Okay, y'all, so honestly, the ingredients are simple. We got our all butter croissants. So good, so good from Walmart. We got our roll of turkey meat. And really, it's just whatever toppings you want, like lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, blah, blah, blah. We're trying to see what we put on there. Now, I know y'all like, Candy, you don't even eat cheese, so how is it a chopped cheese? But look, if you watched our hamburger helper video, and if you haven't, go watch that one. But if you watched it, you'll know that I used non-dairy yogurt and nutritional yeast to give it that cheesy taste. Mm-hmm. We gonna do the same thing today. Yeah, you ready, babe? Let's go. You ready, babe? You ready, babe? <laughs> <laughs> we got the all butter croissant teas our vegetables y'all know we love put in the mix blend and our stuff he about to start on the bacon and also i wanted some um fries so we're gonna make some arby's curly fries this is about the only thing i eat from arby's but you know we have y'all look at his locks don't they look so nice they're so long he be thinking his life's not that long. They are right. They Actually, let me show y'all what happened to my group. So, if you don't know, I love Legos. And I looked up one day and my group head was missing. And I found his head behind that. Who did? Don't know how it happened. Don't know when it happened. But now I have to rebuild my group head. It's cool. So, how long did it take you to do that? If anybody was wondering, I love Legos. It's Legos everywhere. How long did it take you to build your group? I think it took me like five hours. <laughs> I think it took me like five hours. Um, if y'all want to see all the Legos I have, comment below and I'll show y'all. All right. Or if y'all want to watch this, we could build a Lego set together. Ooh, that'd be fun. And record it for you guys. Okay. So we're gonna start off by putting our turkey bacon on the skillet. Please don't mind the dishes. We're gonna do oh, yeah. four slices. I'm about to get that together. Okay. Make sure it sizzles up, you feel me? I already put butter up on there. And the only seasoning we're gonna use is some black pepper. <laughs> <laughs> like, what you over there doing? Yeah. Not too much, a little okay. more the way. You see it sizzling and bustling. Mm. So why okay, that's why that's going away? What not? Jeez. I actually have to cut the croissants because he don't want to do it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm a croissant. Okay. Where's this patchouli? Right there. Making sizzling? Mmm. They're better for me, y'all. I'm not gonna see it. They're dirty, but I'm gonna see that they're dirty. It ain't doing it, but we're about to flip it. So they can cook, we're gonna get both eyes. Fries in the air fryer. Just gonna put our foil in there. Because if not, we're gonna have a dirty air fryer. And who wanna keep cleaning the air fryer every time we gotta use it? Three fries, just gonna dump them up in here. Oops. I might as well use this one. Oh, 
I use a rice. Got our fries up in there. We gonna probably bake them. I mean, air fry them for about 12 minutes on 400. That'd be done. It's nice and crunchy. And it don't need no seasoning or nothing because it's Arby's. Arby's got some good fries. Who fries I like better? Arby's or Checkers? Go. Who you like better, baby? Um, checkers. Checkers? I used to love checker fries, but they just ain't, they, they ain't hit in so long. Like, it's like, I don't know if they too greasy or if they just got lazy with it, but I'm gonna say Arby's. Now let's check on our bacon, y'all. See how that bacon, bacon. Oh, yeah. Almost done. Maybe a couple more seconds. Our turkey bacon ain't looking like this. Don't even put it on my plate. You feel me? It ain't too flimsy. It ain't too hard or crunchy. Done. It's time to cook our ground turkey. I'm about to throw the meat in the skillet. And then, let's go. Then we go add our vegetables and everything we want on here. So while he over there doing the meat, I'm about to cut up, cut the croissants and have like sandwiches. Um, I love croissants. I love bread. I love you. <laughs> I love you. So I'm just literally cutting them down the middle. I'm not cutting cutting them. Ooh, not enough. cutting them all the way through though. So cut it and then I just. Okay, then. Mm. trying to bite, you ready to bite that boy. Now I got some of the croissants over there. Cause I like croissants. Dun dun. All right, let's go check on Ty. Got our meat in here. I just spread it out a little bit. I like to make sure it's a little brown at the bottom before I start really chopping it up and mixing it. So I'm just gonna let it cook up. Croissant seeds are done. Bacon's done. Fries in the air fryer. <laughs> the veggies go in the meat. And yeah, let me get y'all 360 in my hair since I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> the little side part. Like them two strands, huh? Yep, and I, I can't wait to take them out. I like when my hair's all crinkly. Mm. 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 <laughs> what toppings we gonna put on there? Lettuce. Lettuce. My baby needs his cheese. You want this or shredded? Sliced today. Okay. This, if you don't got none of this, get you some of this. We've been using this like crazy. They sell them anywhere, I think. Actually, uh, I'm gonna use this pepper jack cheese. And they got jalapeno peppers in it. Just to add a little kick. I'm a miracle with girly here. Mayo boy. Okay. <laughs> What else we put right here? Pickle spear? That's, that's what you put on yours? Yeah. The pickle, 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 pickle. We do need some more pickles. And I think that's it, honestly. I think that's it, honestly. Oh. Y'all know this is a chopped cheese, but I don't do dairy, so we got my non-dairy plain yogurt and then i know y'all remember this the nutritional yeast from the hamburger helper that's the same pack yeah show y'all how i do that how that one gets down our meat 
it's coming to its end almost. So I'm about to start seasoning it up. Hey, seasoning it up. Season, seasoning it up. Let's go. You got a little bit of black pepper. Not too much though, you feel me? Got some onion powder. garlic powder don't be stingy with that garlic powder I know we had to come with the Creole not too much stuff because it's you gotta season it like salt we're gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna add my last seasoning up in here mm, good. last but not least we got our smash seasoning now this seasoning is gonna take this meat to a whole nother level and really make it that chopped cheese so we're just gonna sprinkle that up on here. What's all up in here? Everything we need, salt, spices, celery seed, garlic, and onion. Shit, this one already got all this. That's cool. It's really that celery seed. I mean, celery salt, I mean. All right, now we're gonna move this over to the lighter side. We pour our veggies up in here so we can mix it up with the meat. Pour the rest up in here. So with our veggies, what I'm about to do is, I like to put this onion, I like to put this caramelized onion butter on here. So it'll be nice and caramelized, mix up with that meat. Oh, we got the vegetables sizzling on there. I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter up on there. Okay, it right with the Okay. Put that butter right there. Get it nice and buttery. So it can caramelize real good. Cook all the way through. Now the meat done. Now it's just time to add the cheese. Okay, y'all, y'all know I don't eat cheese and he finna cheese up his stuff. So he about to put my meat in here and then I'm gonna take y'all over there and I'm gonna show y'all how I make my stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm about to put my cheese on. Y'all can do every cheese y'all want. Y'all put anything on y'all. This is what we're doing ours. Put that cheese on there. Got to put it on. So we're just gonna put a little bit of that meat on top of that cheese. Y'all see what it's doing. Yeah. Bad boy up so it's nice and cheesy. Okay, y'all, so y'all know I'm not a cheese lover. Mm -mm. Me and cheese, me and dairy don't go along well. Get me along. So I got this coconut-based yogurt alternative, and it's dairy-free. So, and then I got my meat right here. So I'm about to show y'all how I make my dairy-free chopped cheese, okay? So we just gonna take some yogurt. yogurt. I think that should be enough. And then a nutritional yeast. Come it out on there. Put a little more yogurt. And then we just we gonna mix it all up together. Y'all see how it look? It looked like this. What it taste like? It tastes like. Let's taste it. Mm -hmm. okay. Taste cheesy. and adjust for your liking. But you give it that cheese taste though. Mm hmm It could use some more, but some more yeast. Yeah. You want me to put me a little more meat in there then? Mm. Exactly. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all know I'm always find a substitute for something. Because I was really happy when I found that uh, hamburger helper recipe because 
I ate Hamburger Helper a lot growing up and we loved Hamburger Helper. Like, so we kept getting it. And till I couldn't have it no more. And I'm like, wow, I just really want some Hamburger Helper. Like right now, that's how I feel about lasagna. I really want some lasagna. So. To make it, huh? Ding, ding, ding. Stay tuned for that video. We got the fries in the air fryer right now. That's really all we're waiting on. Fries. We about to start uh, making our sandwiches. All righty, y'all. It's time to start making these bad boys. Time to start baking our sandwiches. Take our crust on. Hey, a crust on. So let's build them up. Build them up. Build them up. Okay. Build them up. Okay. Build them up. okay. They look like um, clam shells. Croissants are so airy, like. Like, how the freak y'all get so airy, dude? Just say on there. Talk so, about a Hey, 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 you silly. You silly. Smear our sauce up in there. I'm gonna go put Chipotle on one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that too. Cause it's it it don't need the chipotle the it chipotle don't. is a great factor in any food but this kind of became our new thousand island yeah but i still love thousand island don't get me wrong that's my day one baby you didn't even know it had pickles in it pickle i could tell i could tell you i've seen pickles in it uh, yeah you can see them floating i mean i'm floating but <laughs> you're a freaking floater can you pass me my meat The only thing I can say that I learned is Spanish, y'all, and I took Spanish for two years. That's crazy. Why you ain't learning nothing, baby? I really don't know. Like, it was just hard. Okay, so I had a teacher switch. So my first year I had one teacher, and then the second year I had the other teacher. And I know y'all like, well, teachers, they should teach the same, but both the teachers had different teaching styles. So she just taught us, like, how to say simple words. He wanted you to know like sentences and stuff. And I know like it was Spanish one, Spanish two, but I don't remember anything. Like, mm. like I remember me and Lambo is. What that mean? My name is, and then you just say your name. I know, I remember little Or like much. little simple words I remember, but when they, I can't tell y'all nothing in Spanish. I can't really tell y'all what anything means. Mm. I want to learn it again. I just feel like at that time, that's when I really was losing my motivation for school. Bacon. I forgot. Bacon. Bacon. I really hope y'all do try this. Because it's really, really good. And you will not be disappointed. Especially if you're somebody like me that loves bread and loves croissants. Second dance break. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> that was so Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks. Time to eat. Right, them fries piping hot. I can't eat it like that. Got our Kool Aid. This is a real mukbang right here. For real. We still got our sauces right here. I'm trying to show you how the sauce. Still got our sauces. This is the number one right here, yo. Y'all better go check this out. That's our local Walmart for sure. Ketchup. Ketchup. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Oh, there's so much flavor. Like, that is so good. It's like, the meat just tastes so seasoned. It's got some nice pickle crunch in there. The croissant, that's not even talking about the croissant. It's so airy. I don't even and it's, it's, it's so perfect, good. like, this is literally a chopped cheese croissant, y'all. Look at this. Croissant, like, this is crazy. Mm. And ours is both different. Like, my meat is different from his, and it tastes exactly the same. Good left, good, good little drop off. Off the knees. Mm. If you don't like Arby's fries, I don't think I can mess with you, honestly. He's so dramatic. <laughs> They're so good, you can't have them. These ones are so bad. Right. They good, but they just not like checkers. Yeah, like, I, I can't disrespect checkers. Like, checkers usually be my favorite, always. Like, they just, just been slacking lately. I ain't giving them the benefit of the doubt at all. Yeah. That's all it is. Checker's always been my favorite. Like, oh, checker fry. Checker fry, you got checker fry? Like, you funny. For real. <laughs> Somebody gonna brush up, I'm like, check, they got checker fry. But they all be hidden. It, it's because it's checker grease, for real. Y'all gotta tell y'all a story time. It's a quick story time, I promise. But this memory just popped into my head. So one day I was at lunch. In high school, I was at lunch, right? And I see my friend Tyree. Y'all remember when the Popeye's chicken sandwich first came out and people was going crazy? Yeah, I remember that. So <laughs> he bought him a chicken sandwich from Popeye's for That's lunch. A, it was still. Somebody gave, somebody gave it to me. They went to oh, really? my brother. Got that river Somebody gave it to him. Do it to you. So he was about to, you know. Heat it up. It came in a package right. and everything. Once time, here, go ahead and tell the story. But while he put it in the microwave, and mind you, we, I'm sitting right there at the table with everybody else looking. While he put it in the microwave, in the wrapping, in the Popeyes wrapping, it come in. Now, mind y'all, it's it's aluminum foil. Like, it's it's to keep it warm. In there, he put it in the, in the microwave, and why it catch on fire? <laughs> That was so funny. Like when I think about when I think about him in high school, that's one of the memories I think about. It ain't really that catch on fire. You you y'all know if it'll be a little piece of corner of a foil in the microwave by mistake, it start zapping. That's all it was. <laughs> On the Popeye's bag and you smell it a little bit, body burn. Dang! Look at this big curly fry. Hide it. It's like literally like my life. Mmm. Arby's? You're so dramatic. What you talking to, Arby's? They good. They not. They missing something to me. We was missing that black pepper seasoning, that checker wrap. Some seeds, some seasoning. Yeah, yeah, that seasoning, that checker wrap. I already know. I knew. That's why I'm, 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 I'm gonna wait because I already know she gonna say it. Number two. Okay, this is the one with the chipotle inside. This is my chipotle one too. Arby up in there. Put my ankle. We should pull on there, y'all. Come on now, who's gonna do it like this? Yeah, I'm gonna see the but I'm about to finish this thing. Tyler. 
All right. What would you rate this? One out of ten. Eleven out of ten. I give it like a twelve out of ten. So. If y'all enjoy Michi, y'all drop a like and try out this recipe, man. This is the way we did it. This is a template for y'all. And y'all just enjoy watching us do this. Make sure y'all drop a like and share with a friend. Thank you for watching. So, I'm so happy, blessed, and grateful to have somebody like him in my life. I'm so happy, blessed, and grateful. He's literally my best friend, my other half. My true friend. one half to a whole like we connect mentally spiritually literally <laughs> it's crazy this is our hair shape <laughs> never thought I would meet somebody like this like what